We've talked about gold. Now let's talk about poor man's gold. Hi everyone, Jordan Murphy here. Welcome to this week's ROI Minute. While many investors of commodities like to focus on the precious yellow, silver has made headlines recently. After an 84% run up in 2010, followed by four months when it outpaced gold, the floor gave out, the price plunged. The lesson here is that like gold, silver is both volatile and unpredictable. So it's been advised to not put, put much more than 15% of your total investment into this precious metal. Silver is popular to those who want to own a metal, but they don't want to pay that nearly $1,500 an ounce premium that gold dictates. However, remember this, silver is very heavy. If you want $10,000 worth of gold, you just need a handful of coins. But if you want $10,000 worth of silver, you need a bucket. For those who do want to invest in silver, the two most popular ways are through an exchange traded fund or ETF, such as SLV, or through buying physical silver, such as an American Silver Eagle. Now, those who are merely attaching the investment to the price of silver typically get the ETF. However, others who use the investment as a hedge against inflation and envision a financial catastrophe are often advised to hold on to the physical silver. Nick Barashev, he's the president and CEO of the Bullion Management Group in Toronto, said, it's like if your house is on fire. Would you rather have a fire extinguisher or a picture of a fire extinguisher? To find out more about silver, be sure to check out the article written by ROI Catalyst co-founder David Morrill at ROICatalyst.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and on YouTube. Thanks, everyone. See you again next time.